Hi, I am Harish Gurdetti and welcome back to another live session. Today we are going to talk about 14 reasons why you need to migrate to AWS Cloud Storage. So this topic is for um, you know I, business owners, um, IT, uh, IT leaders who have uh, a, a storage solution in-house. Uh, maybe they have a server in a server room where they are storing all the client data or any kind of data for that matter. So this is typical in professional service organizations like law firms, accounting firms. Uh, you see that they have a, a server that they bought years ago where they, you know, they configured the IT person came in and configured it and uh, they are maintaining it, right? So, and everyone uses it, uses that shared storage. Um, so, or um, that's one use case. The other, other thing is, they have the storage everyone is storing data on their own computers um, and uh, on their own laptops right so that is and and then they share it with um, they just go ahead and share it using a typical windows share so that's another uh, reason that's another way they use uh, on-premise storage so um, this this video is really to tell you 14 reasons why you should move to uh, migrate to aws cloud storage so let's get started so the reason number one up from so i'm i'm going to draw a comparison between the two uh, and obviously these are the reasons the, on, on, on the aws storage cloud storage these will be the reasons but i just want to compare the both and explain you in detail so the first thing is upfront payment and versus pay as you go model so in in traditional uh, storage uh, option you have to pay everything upfront you need to buy the server you need to buy the storage you pay for you know 10 db or 100 db whatever it is you buy your own storage um, you know that works uh, when you have like a small you know one to two uh, employee business but as your business grows that is uh, I don't think that is a sustainable solution whereas on AWS cloud storage it is a pay as you go model wherein you pay uh, as, as you go and as you scale you continue to pay um, for on-premise storage, on premise storage you are responsible for fiscal security um, right and if it is in your office you need to make sure all the right controls are in place biometric system is in place for or you know cctv cameras are in place for people who are coming in uh, and accessing the data right so but with aws aws manages the entire fiscal security that's reason number two and the second thing is you are responsible for making it available globally let's just say you you have a workforce um you have uh, you have a uh, you have a business in the US and you have an offshore team, you know, that's a common structure, right? Most companies have it in, in India or you're using an offshore team uh, for your, uh, you know, for uh, for work uh, to get your work done, like low, low impact work. For example, a lot of accounting firms use offshore accounting teams to do the do their bookkeeping and the US or uh, the head office does the uh, year end compilations and stuff. So in those scenarios, you, you it is your responsibility to make the data available to your offshore teams and it is you are responsible for how they access it how they how they use it where they copy it and all of that stuff but with aws aws will ensure that data is available globally and also to all applications that you are running and that's reason number three the number four is you are responsible for backup and recovery uh, whereas uh, with aws aws manages backup and durability of the data uh, you just need to set up some rules so that um, policies so that the data backup happens right then the next thing is any change uh, requires capacity planning budgeting and resources let's say you want to know you're out of space or you're running out of space this year and you want to buy a new hard and you, you want to add new storage and that means you need to uh, you need to first budget for it i mean how much does it cost if i buy a uh, you know let's say uh, 100 tv uh, space or something like that so that is that is that is uh, something you have to budget for you have to plan it you need to have the resources you need to find a new space to stack it so all of that stuff you need to worry about whereas with um, aws cloud storage 
storage you quickly manage make any changes you want you can either add more space you can if you're not using it you can get rid of some of this disk that's for different let's say you have a vm where you have two or four disks you if you're not using it you can get rid of them so that you can make changes quickly that's what i want to say and limited ability to scale with your on-premise storage with you know with AWS cloud you have we are virtually unlimited storage capacity um, cannot move to new storage system easily let's just say you're using a, a, typical, a, a specific type of storage um, like uh, using NFS or something like that and then you want to change it to a different type of storage it's not possible because you need to buy that type of storage system whereas on AWS you can move data across different types of uh, storage systems right so that's that's also available that's also available that's <clears throat> that's number uh, eight, I guess. Um, the next one is very hard to innovate and test new ideas that use storage as you cannot get new storage immediately for testing. What I mean by that is, let's say your, your team is building an application or you want to, uh, you're testing um, a different type of, uh, your application reads a different type of storage that you want to test. It's not possible if you have on, on premise storage because you need to buy that or you need to procure that you need to find where it is right find out where you can get it but with aws you can experiment different types of storages or options and discard you know after testing um, right so that we to figure out which one suits your use case the best uh, right so that's the reason uh, no uniform security controls for storage and network infrastructure uh, what i mean by that is uh, if your storage is being managed by an it ID, IT outsourced IT, managed IT services provider. Uh, you don't know how they are controlling the security. So what is their on, you know, what is the security controls to enter the uh, premises or what is the network security? So, but with AWS, you inherit all the security features and uh, security controls that most security conscious organizations implement. So AWS is being used by some of the most secure um, organizations like banks, financial institutions, government, uh, right? So uh, with with your whatever you buy the storage, you can inherit all of those controls without paying anything extra or without doing anything by yourself. That's the real benefit there. Um, and fixed capital investment, like I said, you need to buy upfront. Uh, that's fixed capital investment every time. Whereas with a, uh, AWS, it becomes a variable monthly expense um, and reduces your budgeting needs. Um, you can only implement a recovery like in time. So you took a backup and let's say you something happened, you restore the backup and you get the data in time. But with um, with AWS, you can you can implement recovery methods to meet recovery point objectives and recovery time objectives. Um, so those are the that's the um, option uh, with AWS. Um, the next thing is you need to invest in back data backup tools. So if you are using your own uh, storage, you need you are responsible for buying the you know backup software as well. But with AWS, uh, you leverage built-in backup cap capabilities right or use aws backup service so you have both the options to do that uh, <clears throat> no incremental backup unless you have a, a, a separate uh, backup product uh, but with aws uh, you have a, a point in time um, incremental backup so that's another huge advantage with the cloud storage uh, finally you get only single type of storage so one at one time you can buy one type of storage right obviously but uh, with aws yes you pay you buy only one type but you have multiple options is what i'm saying you get block storage file storage object storage and you can use use them um, i mean the way they they organize the data and they provision it or give it back to you the output is is different but at the end of the day you can store you can store a file in both on, on block on block storage file storage and also object storage the same thing but depending on how you are going to use it whether it's for an application whether it is by end users or whether it is by your or your operating system depend depending on how you are where the data is going to be retrieved you are going to pick the uh, the, the, the storage options but you have all the available options uh, with you so as i said these are like the 14 reasons and there are many more but these i believe are the 14 reasons that should uh, that should you know 
uh, that should address any concerns that you probably have um, and or any questions that you may have on why you should move to a, uh, AWS cloud storage especially you are a professional services organization like a law firm or accounting firm um, you know uh, and you have uh, you are using uh, a shared, sh shared storage or with the server in, in, in your server room or something like that this is really uh, this should help you take that decision and take that leap to migrate to um, AWS cloud storage so I hope this video helps you and gives you an insight on why it is so easy and why it is so uh, important to move to AWS cloud storage because you get a lot of value for the money you pay so I hope this is just useful let me know if you have any more questions in the comments i will be happy to answer them thank you